Mixed-use developments come in different shapes, sizes, and with different combinations of tenants. Some have residential units above commercial ones, while others have a hotel above them. In West Hollywood, where they are so prevalent, the structures succeeded in creating a new way of life. I think mixed-use developments have become a different kind of uh, uh, way to live in West Hollywood, to live right on the commercial street, to engage with urban living in a much more direct way. However, D'Amico thinks they failed to stop development in the neighborhoods. Additional development is evident by the closed Palm Restaurant, Santa Monica Boulevard, which had to move to Beverly Hills because a mixed-use development is planned in its spot. Other people believe they failed in another area too, helping the public transit situation. I think it would behoove them actually to build parking instead so that people will actually do what metro states they won't do, which is you know, walk to the stations. Mixed-use developments aren't only affecting cities, they are also affecting companies, including Lemley Theaters. They will be turning the land behind me, which is on the corner of Maryland and Wilson and Glendale, into Lemley Lofts. It will be made up of residential units on top and businesses on the bottom, including a new Lemley Theater. The reason the mixed-use development is needed is so it can offset the need for cash subsidies for a new movie theater. What makes Lemley Lofts somewhat different than other developments is how it fits into the company's goal. And that is creating small-scale um, neighborhood theaters that fit within a dense downtown urban environment uh, where we rely on shared parking, we rely on, you know, we, we uh, rely on uh, customers who are going to find alternative means of transportation to get to the theater. The company hopes construction will start next year. Max Schwartz, Los Angeles.